With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Scene Anatomy video here at the Superbooth 20 Home Edition. I'm on the line with Oz from Expert Sleepers. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yes. Are you still healthy? Are you? Is it fine with the actual situation uh, for you? Yeah, it's okay. Um, I work at home anyway, so being at home is nothing new. That the new thing <laughs> is having having three kids at home all the time, uh, which is <laughs> reducing my work ability a little bit. But no, we're mm -hmm. all real good. Can't complain. Um, Expert Sleepers is a company from UK, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, used, used to be England, but now is Scotland. Um, mm -hmm. So for now, for now, that's still the UK. That mm -hmm. may change. That we can talk about. Um, it's the... There it is, <laughs> the Disting EX. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, this is what I'm launching um, today. I don't know, okay. depending on when today mm -hmm. is, in terms of when this video is being published, but let's say today. Um, would have been at Superbooth. Um, sadly, there is no real Superbooth, but here we mm -hmm. are, Superbooth at home. Yeah, so the Disting EX, basically, um, if, if you see the picture there, it, it looks like two distings next to each other. Um, and if I if I switch over to my modular cam, um, I've got a, a real one here. So, and just for comparison, I've actually got two disting Mark IVs up here uh, next to each mm -hmm. other. So it very much looks like two disting Mark IVs next to each other, but they're sharing um, an OLED display. Okay, um, that's a major it, improvement. Yeah, that, that in itself is is a major step forward. At the moment, it's um, so it works as two Disting Mark IVs or as one module that is a Disting EX. At the moment, it's doing a Disting EX thing. But if I just switch it into uh, uh, that, so this is double Disting Mark IV mode, and you can see mm -hmm. um, each half of the display shows what the half of the Disting is, okay. which is already a lot more information than you get on a normal Disting, mm -hmm. um, but it does super useful things like when you start editing one half of the disting, it zooms in and uses the whole display for um, mm -hmm. for that side of the disting. So it's, I mean, certainly say selecting algorithms, uh, I'm going to do it on this side because this side is going into my speakers and I don't want to put CVs through my speakers necessarily. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, browsing for algorithms now is, is a heck of a lot easier to read. Um, is it still based? Uh, does it still has a uh, micro SD card for the yeah? So this programs is the micro SD slot is here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's shared by the two um, sides of the module. Um, it, the, the this module, unlike the Disney Mark IV, this is actually being shipped with a card as well, uh, mm -hmm. with a whole load of content on it. Um, Spitfire Audio um, are well known for really high end uh, orchestral sample sets, but they also have an initiative called Spitfire Labs, where they put out free instruments and sample sets based on slightly more experimental things they're playing with. Um, and one of the thing, well, my first. Um, discovery of theirs, they put out a sample instrument called the Soft Piano, which is this beautiful acoustic piano where they've put felt on the keys or something, and it's really, it's a lovely sound. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, yeah, so they've um, very kindly given me um, over four gigabytes of sample content uh, to include with the Disting EX. Yeah, and sorry, and I've got some um, samples as well from Gold Baby, mm -hmm. who are completely the other end of the spectrum. They take like old drum machines and put them through valve distortion, mm -hmm. um, which makes for some lovely sample sets. Um, so yeah, so all this stuff is on the micro SD card, which comes with the Disting EX. And I'll let me see if I can switch back over to that with it, uh, to falling over this time. Yeah, so it's all here. Um, that's usable in obviously by the Disting Mark IV mode and the individual modes. Mm -hmm. And what makes this um, different from just two Disting Mark IVs is obviously the display, but also um, it's running at a higher sample rate. It's running at 96 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. uh, Disting Mark IV runs at 75. Um, and it's got a big slab of extra RAM in it. So everything like a reverb or a delay um, can be much longer. Um, so the tape delay on the Disting Mark IV is, is a particularly popular feature, but it only gives you like half a second of delay. 
Whereas mm-hmm. on the um, the Disting EX, you've got like up to forty seconds of delay in stereo at ninety six mm-hmm. kilohertz. So basically, you have two distincts. You can operate it in in two different modes. You can two to have two distincts, and you can yeah. have one big one. Exactly. What? Um, in terms of the one big one, sorry, let me actually do the thing. Um, so when it's one big one, as it were, um, there's a relatively small number of algorithms uh, to choose from at the moment. Um, but obviously, my plan is to continually develop this as I've developed the Disney Mark IV over the next few years. Um, but I've really focused on... Um, things that benefit from the new hardware. Um, so I've got two sample playback modes and a big um, delay mode, basically, mm-hmm. um, and a dedicated WAV recorder. Um, so I guess I could actually have this make some sound and see how that mm-hmm. works out. Um, so this is um, the Listing EX. I've got it in its uh, multi-sample playback mode. So this is ideally suited for playing um, kind of melodic pitch samples where you've got a big multi-sample. Mm-hmm. Um, the the, um, the Spitfire content is ideal for this. This is one of my favorites. The No, it's not because I haven't loaded the preset. Let's load the preset. Um, the Soft Piano, I mentioned it's sampled every semitone um, over the whole keyboard of a piano, mm-hmm. stereo, 10-second samples. Um, so it's it's a lovely sound and... Uh, uh, let me just remind myself how on earth this the rest of this is working. I've got it connected to Rene. That's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So there's a there's like a 20, 30 minute demo of me doing just this on on the website that people can look at. But I'll just give you a quick look. Um, if I start that, so this is playing um, the disting from the Rene. Um, let me just mm-hmm. change that. I'll change the envelope timeout to infinite so it sustains the samples. I'm just going to stop it. So there's no external mm-hmm. effects processing or reverb in it. That's just the sample still rigging out. Okay. You know, it's a they're huge samples and stereo, like I say. Yeah, go on. Sorry. And, and, it, and in this big version, you have uh, how many samples you can play back there? This, so this is eight note polyphonic. Um, okay. So the, the, the listing mark for um, sample playback modes are about one or two voices, but this is eight voice uh, polyphonic. Um, so at the moment it's playing that rather slow thing. If I get a couple more patch cables, um, which I should probably have had ready, and then take, change that to, there we go. So I've got two voices, two sequences from mm-hmm. the Rene coming out into two CV gate inputs. So you can hear, you know, like I said, there's no reverb on that. That's just the audio straight out of the module, which is rather lovely. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, being a modular, it's not, you, you could, you can play this by MIDI as well, in which case you'll get that very much that sort mm-hmm. of sound. But this being a modular, with these being CVs, you're not limited to it just giving it a pitch. You can bend that pitch around, modulate it however you would normally okay. with a VCO. Um, and these gate inputs are actually velocity sensitive as well. So you can control um, the loudness of the sample by the um, strength of the gate going into it. And in the sample playback also supports um, velocity switching. So mm-hmm. different levels of um, velocity selecting different samples and round robins. So you can have it kind of playing the same note over and over and over mm-hmm. again, but playing different samples, which is great on things like hi-hats. So you don't get that kind of machine gun feel. Is there any plans to make maybe a granular sampler or something? Yeah, uh, yeah that's definitely be something on my list to look at. Um, at the moment, um, I've got this mode, which is great for pitch sounds. I've got another mode, mm-hmm. which is great for um, drum sounds. So where, uh, in that case, you've got six trigger inputs, um, again, all velocity sensitive, and then assignable outputs for the different sounds. Um, 
But yeah, it's, it's kind of early days for this, but I've just been focusing on getting all the old disting Mark IV mm -hmm. algorithms in, which was quite a lot of work. As you can imagine, there's like 100 algorithms there to go through. And then to really tighten up the sample playing. So um, the latency on the triggering um, on these most now is, is well under a millisecond. Um, okay. It, it's, it's super fast, super low latency triggering, um, which is great for drums. The MIDI breakout cable, which people have from the distinct MK4, MK3, is still compatible with this module? Yeah, so uh, okay. MIDI breakout is the same. Um, in fact, this has, got, this has got every breakout that I could think of. Um, it's got uh, the MIDI breakout. At the moment, um, it's actually connected to this Michigan Soundworks MIDI fader bank, um, mm -hmm. just with a cable. Just a, a couple of wires uh, will connect that to that, and that's really handy for kind of accessing all the parameters without diving around the menus using the knobs. Uh, it supports I2C, so things like, again, like this, which support I2C, or um, was it the ER301 and all your kind of monomy stuff that does I2C? It's got a connection for that. Um, it's got um, the select bus, so things like the Rene and other things that talk on the select bus can use that for patch, save, and recall. Um, it's got a connection to the old dirt for style CV gate bus. So, you know, it'll take a pick CV and a, and a gate in, um, on the module backplane. And it's also got expansion outputs for my own, um, ES5 and FHX, HCV and HGT expanders. So things that would normally expand an ES3 and ES8 or an FH2. There's also connections on the distant EX for that which is compute, sort of future-proofing, really. I haven't got it, those actually connected to any features yet, but they're all there so that uh, in the future I can, you know, go nuts <laughs> once I've thought of something sensible to do with all that connectivity. All this looks and sounds very interesting. I think this module will be super, super interesting for many people. Well, thank you. Because it can be everything. <laughs> everything, um, yeah, and now it's got more inputs and outputs. The possibilities mm -hmm. are, are more um, various, and uh, it's got a lot more, so, a lot more processing power. Um, the distinct MK4 was the, or is the Swiss Army knife of functions from Eurek. This is now the double Swiss Army knife. <laughs> That's yes, big, the Swiss, big, big, big Swiss one. Army, Swiss Army knife and fork, um, let's say. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is now. It's kind of transcended that. Um, and like I say, it's not, it, I'm not viewing this as a, as a replacement for the Mark IV either. This is kind mm -hmm. of alongside it. And I, I fully intend to add more stuff into the Mark IV, at which point, obviously, that same stuff will go into this EX as, a, um, as an additional feature when it's being a listing Mark IV. Okay. And when we can see it on the market? Um, well, all being well, um, today, um, I, I have taken delivery of, of some of the first batch and I believe, okay. um, yeah, I think the distributors just have some. So if this is Friday now, then by the time it might even be on shop shelves Monday morning, 9am. Okay. <laughs> but uh, right. very, very soon. It's not, this isn't pre-release. This isn't a pre-announcement. This is out mm -hmm. now. It's just a matter of whether it's like today or tomorrow that it's in mm -hmm. the shops. But it uh, should, be, should, should be able to order it on, on web shop, on stores right now. Price point? Uh, 299 UK pounds, mm -hmm. including that. So that's very slightly twice as much as a listing Mark IV. Yeah, that's um, exactly. for, yeah, so in, given that this also includes a micro SD card this time, it's actually mm -hmm. comparable value um, and more more features and stuff. Uh, what yeah. that is in dollars and euros, I can mm -hmm. honestly tell you, but look at your favorite modular retailer and they'll have the price. Okay. I'm very happy to see this because the Distinct is so an amazing module, but now with this new inter with this new display, it's a big improvement compared to the the smaller one. But still, the smaller one is an amazing module, which is also in my setup, and um, yeah, it makes it so fun to play around with it. 
Thank you. Yeah, and the, obviously the old one is still 4 HP, whereas this is 8 HP. So if you only yeah. have a 4 HP gap, the old one is just what you need. Yep. Okay. Cool. Big thanks, Os. I Great wish you good luck with this Thank new you. module. I wish uh, also for the future more modules from you and also updates, updates, updates. Yeah. We are looking forward. Thank you. What the magic yeah, Oz is doing. <laughs> What I'm doing first is having a little bit of a rest, um, but yeah, then certainly full steam ahead and updates, 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 for sure. Okay, thank right. you, big thanks. Thank you. And um, big thanks for watching this video. If you have a comment, let me know in the comments below and see you soon in our next Superbooth 20 home edition videos. Bye.